Today, we will show you how to install and start a laser machine using the Watson 1610 LT as an example. Place the box with the machine in the area of its supposed installation. The distance from the walls should be at least 1.5 meters. 220 volt outlets to connect your machine and accessories and a ground point for your equipment should be located in the nearest access. To unpack the box, you will need a screwdriver with an 8 mm head, a slotted screwdriver and a crowbar. First, undo bolts around the perimeter of the lower part of the machine box. Use the screwdriver. Then use the slotted screwdriver to pry open the top cover of the box and remove it with the crowbar. Use the crowbar all the way around the top cover of the box. Put the lid away. Using the crowbar, pry open the side front cover. Put away the remaining one. Remove the protective shipping wrap. Unpack a honeycomb table. Put it away and check the machine's housing for damage. Open the main lid of the machine and make sure the set is complete. The basic list of equipment includes four machine legs, working table blades, an air exhauster, two corrugated hoses for the exhaust system, three metal hose clamps for the corrugated hoses, a set of fasteners for machine legs, an air compressor, a water pump, a machine's ground cable, an internet cable, a USB cable, a set of hex wrenches, a power cord of the machine, a double-sided duct tape for alignment, a tube with sealer. Remove the door unlock keys and machine start keys that are attached to the laser head. Mechanical installation. Find holes for the machine's legs. Lift the machine and install the first leg of the machine. Tighten the bolts, securing the first leg of the machine. Install the second leg. Now the machine stands on two legs. Repeat the previous steps with the second pair of legs. Installing the working table blades. Unpack the blades and set them into the T-slots of the working table. Start with the leftmost T-slot and use every two T-slots. Install the honeycomb table on the top of the working table blades. Installing a laser tube. Take the laser tube and carefully install it into the mounting seats. Secure the tube with the fastenings. Connecting the cathode wire. Connect the cable of the ignition unit to the laser tube where a laser beam comes out. Connecting the anode wire. Remove the insulating cap from the laser tube anode. Connect the anode wire of the laser tube ignition unit and put the insulating cap on top. Connect the water supply hose to the anode side of the laser tube and the water outlet hose to the cathode side of the laser tube. Connect the silicon hoses from the set to each barb fitting of the machine. Connect the second end of the silicon hoses to the chiller in the following order. Connect the hose from the chiller water inlet fitting to the water outlet on the machine and the hose from the chiller water outlet fitting to the water inlet on the machine. Unpack the air compressor. Take a silicon hose from the set Screw the barb fitting into the air compressor.
Connect one end of the silicon hose to the compressor's fittings and the other to the machine's fitting. Connect the power cord to the power connector on the machine with the marking water pump. Connect the power plug of the air compressor to the machine's connector air pump. Connect a power cord to each plug on the machine. Then connect these cables plugs to the voltage regulator. Start the chiller. Make sure that water is supplied to the laser tube in the direction of the laser beam exit. Look closely at the air bubbles inside the laser tube cooling circuit. If there are any air bubbles, you must remove them. Press out the emergency stop button. Turn the key in the lock clockwise. Make sure that the machine is turned on and the laser head moves. Connecting the PC. Take the USB cable from the machine's set, put it into your PC and into the PC outlet on your machine. Test cutting. Congratulations, the equipment is ready for work. If necessary, contact our specialists and we will help you with your tasks.